Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Teach, on stream. Uh, and we had a great question from SEO Camo. How would you even start contributing to a new project, right? What would you do? So my general suggestion is the first thing you wanna do is first check if there's something in here uh, called contributing. A lot of people have this contributing MD file here, especially for larger projects. So you can consider opening this, seeing ways that's like, oh, okay, cool. There's good first issues, complexity low, you know, all this kind of stuff, some places that you can read and how you can build. How do you do pull requests? You know, not everyone has as much intra or like information in each of these, but this will at least get you started on, you know, the things that you need to know and what parts sound interesting, right? And so that's sort of like how you might contribute to this particular project. After that, you might want to do something like, you know, we've got a tag for a good first issue. You could scroll through here and you could look for something that sounds really interesting, really interesting. So like, oh, maybe it's allowing options to be private to a window. So you could click on this. You can read this, blah, 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 etc. Follow through. And then maybe you want to ask at the bottom, hey, I'm interested in starting this. What are people's thoughts on that or something? Right. So, OK, so now let's say that you've picked a thing you want to do and you want to run etc. The next thing that you'd want to do is you need to create your own fork. The reason for this, and oh, wouldn't you know it, chat, I, I, I do have my tablet today. So we could do something like this is what you need to do is NeoVim's got its own repo over here, right? So this is NeoVim. You are they've got a chunk of commits here, right? Going on master like this. You, you over here, you don't have access to put a commit inside of this tree, okay? So what you need to do is you need to go and you need to click this little fork button right here. And you can click fork, which just basically creates a copy of NeoVim, NeoVim to your own account. And then once you've done that, then you have the ability, so like I can click fork, but I already actually already have one fork. So after you click it, you'll have something like this. Now see how it says in the URL, it's my username and then the repo organization, right? So now you'd be able to do something like create your own branch, right? And then when you've created your own branch, so we can do that right now, we can pretend that I'm, uh, I'm gonna check it out, I guess, right? So let's just go to my temp folder, get, clone make sure you can clone your your own branch or you can clone neovim whichever way you want to do so for right now i'll clone mine uh, i already have neovim here so let's make your stream because i'm going to do that right and let's try cloning it so now you've cloned once you have this code you can do the new cool things that you want to do um sorry neovim takes slightly longer than some other repos because we have lots of commits CD inside, get checkout dash B for a new branch. So we can just say like how to contrib, right? I can open up some file, maybe like contributing.md and say, wow, NeoVim is cool. Something like that, right? So now you've made your edits. You can do whatever else you needed to do. You can see that I've changed this file. So you could do get add contributing.md, add the file, get commit. That'll open up your commit thing and you can say, I don't know, fix, uh, added more information to contributing, whatever you need to say. Now this would be a terrible PR. Please don't send PRs like this. I know you're going to think you're funny, but it's really not that funny if you send a PR like this, but pretend that you actually solved the issue, all that kind of stuff, right? Now you can push this back up. You want to make sure, and in this case, I'll show you exactly what, that your remotes need to be pointing to your repo. See how my origin points here? I might add another origin, remote add upstream, github.com slash neovim slash neovim. So now if I wanted to, I could try and push to upstream, but you won't be able to do that because you don't have access. So now if you go back here, actually GitHub notices that you just pushed to a new branch, how to contrib, had recent changes. You can click this compare and pull request. And then you can choose where do you want to merge these from, right? So you want to merge it from NeoVim, NeoVim. Then you could do that if you wanted. And then you could click create pull request. I'm not going to do that because I 
don't need to do that, but that would be how you do the very, very basic, okay, I read contributing, I look for some good issues, I think I can fix the issues, I pull it down locally, I make the changes, you're doing things like make test and build and all that kind of stuff. Once you're done, you create a new branch, you push that up to your fork, right? So we showed that that was to my fork, we actually pushed it to here. And then you can create the pull request just like that. Uh, and so there you go. That's the very, very basics of how you would do something like send your first uh, commit to another repository. That should work for anybody, not just Neovim, uh, but that's just a generally how you do it. Anyways, thanks YouTube. See you later.